Hello and welcome to this Vantage Measurement Systems video training. I'm Ryan. In this video we are going to talk about how to square up your part to the machine axes without using the place CAD command. So let's get started. So the, the first thing you'll see on screen is I've brought in or imported my CAD model and you'll see I haven't done any programming yet. So this is obviously one of the, this is the first thing that you'll do when you bring in your CAD model. Um, we are programming offline and that's the purpose of this tutorial is to be able to place your CAD model within the volume of the machine square to the machine uh, so that your tip angles that you program in uh, will actually um, be correct when you go to run the part uh, on the machine itself. So placing the CAD model is super important. So first things first, um, ordinarily you can see up above on the ribbon, ordinarily we might use the place CAD command. So if we click the place CAD command and let's go ahead and look at the part from the front, I can use things such as the rotate drag button to try and get the part to square up to the machine. And I could look at the part from the right side and rotate drag again and I could go through these steps of rotate drag and to try and get the part square to the machine but and sometimes that's just fine um, but that doesn't always uh, yield an ideal result you'll get really close to to the being square to the machine but you know you're off by a couple tenths of a degree and it, you know most of us like to get it sort of just perfect and and that's the purpose of this tutorial to give you a way to make it absolutely perfect at least in the theoretical space here so uh, to do this without using the place command uh, it's easier if we go up to the left hand corner and leave teach mode so let's toggle teach mode off so that's step one so when you leave teach mode you should see something similar to what I see on screen your coordinate systems will be probably in different places but that's okay don't worry about that so let's zoom up on our part so we can use the zoom box and we'll zoom up on the part and what we're gonna do let's actually change the display resolution under the display tab of the ribbon we can turn that down and make it look a little prettier but now we'll go to the import export tab of the ribbon so this is where we're gonna do most of our work and this will just take a minute anyhow so under the import export tab of the ribbon we're gonna go to the alignment tools and we're going to level and I'll click I can click around just keep clicking until I get the correct surface I'm thinking 3 to 1 alignment in the back of my mind so I click the top surface for my level and I click OK now of course we're not in program mode so we're not writing any anything into our program and even outside of teach mode these commands do not write anything into your program anyway so we're not writing a program yet, we're not measuring anything, we're just moving the CAD coordinate system. That's what these tools do. So now that we've leveled, let's align or set the rotation to the front edge. And we will set the origin, uh, we can just put it inside of this hole here. And we'll say OK. So I can see the CAD trihedron is now inside of that hole. And most importantly, I can see that the X, Y, and Z axes are square to the part itself. So that's really what I was aiming for. So now that that case is true, what I'll do is come over to the alignment tab of the ribbon and I will recall the machine coordinate system. Now in this case, if you look on screen, the colorful trihedron, that is actually at the machine coordinate system right now. However, I don't want to assume anything. So I'm going to go ahead and recall the machine coordinate system anyway just to make sure that that's correct uh, it's not hurting anything if I do it and of course we're not in teach mode so it's not writing any command into my program so now let now we need to synchronize the two coordinate systems so we're gonna go to the import export tab of the ribbon sync CAD so with this particular sync we're gonna use option one we don't want to move only the CAD coordinate system. We want to move the CAD coordinate system and the model with it. So we're going to click OK, and you'll see on screen the model and the model's coordinate system. We're just going to pop over to where the probe is. Looks good. So what's important is when they moved, now the part is square to the machine. It may not be where we want it to be ultimately, but at least it's square to the machine, and that's a big step. So the final piece of the puzzle is to go back to the place CAD command 
and we're going to click the center button that will drop the model onto the table and put it in the center of the table and now let's go ahead and view the part from the top and we're going to spin the part a little bit I'm going to rotate by 90 degrees a couple of times center the part up one more time and then click OK because I'm done just say OK to clear through this box and now the part is squared to the machine so let's get back into teach mode and now I'm ready to start writing my program and now all the tip angles that I use in the tip manager are going to apply uh, perfectly uh, to when I actually execute this program when I'm done. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, again, I'm Ryan. Good luck and happy programming.